Amanda Saladin from Love Life Yarn here and today we're going to be making these simple square motifs. I've made several here in different colors and you can also make them in multicolors like this one. So I use a dark gray and then when you kind of do this it looks like more like a flower inside. So I'm working on a project with a bunch of these different squares and today I'm going to show you how to make the simple square in just four easy rounds. What you'll need for this project are just some some scrap yarn. This is from a cake yarn. It's the DK Sugar Wheel Cotton from Hobby Lobby. I just deconstructed my cake. You can see where it was turning pink. That's what these colors are all from. And it's in Paris Mornings is the name of that color. And then you'll also need a size G crochet hook. So here is the hook that I'm using, the Clover Amour. It has G, which is a four millimeter. But of course, since it's a square, you can do this in any weight yarn and any size hook that you like. You ready? Let's get started. To begin, we're going to make a magic ring. So grab your tail end here of your yarn. I use my index finger for small ones, so I'm just gonna make an X and then hold it right here with my other finger. Go underneath, catch this and pull it through, and then take your finger out. This is what you should have. You've got your tail end, you're gonna leave that alone. Grab your other end. And we're gonna work over both of these strands right here. So to begin, we'll chain four. And this counts as a double crochet, chain one. And now you'll double crochet, so yarn over, into your loop, yarn over, pull the loop, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through the last two. There's a double crochet, and now chain one. We're gonna do this until we have a total of 12 double crochet, including this right here. So now we have two. So the way I like to count, in case you are like me and you need a little tip to counting easily, what I do is I will go, so this will be three, I would go and three. And when I did the chain one, I count it, I say and to myself because that lets me know I've also done the chain one. Four and five. And so go ahead and do this so you have 12 total and we'll come back together. When you're finished, it should look like this, which looks a little crazy right now, but don't worry. Grab your tail, pull tight. It's okay if this gets loose up here, don't worry about that. So there we go, pull it tight. Now I'm gonna tighten this back up. And we're gonna join to the third chain of our turning chain. Now this can get a little hard to count from the bottom. So what I do is I look, I need my chain one right here so I'm just gonna join right here, the one after that. And for me, I always have to use my fingernail to get it in there. But don't worry, we're not working any more chains. Slip stitch. Mine's gotten tight for some reason. There we go. And there is, you can pull it down. It'll get loosened up a little bit as you go too. You'll end up pulling this down. There is round one. Round two, slip stitch right here in this chain one space. Chain two. It'll count as part of our double crochet cluster, but don't worry about that part just yet. We're gonna do a two double crochet cluster right here. So start like a regular double crochet, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, insert, pull through two. Leave these two on. Let's do another double crochet, just like you're working a double crochet. So yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and now yarn over and pull through three. And that's our first cluster. Chain two. That was just to get us started. Now in each of these chain spaces, we're gonna do a three double crochet, 
three double crochet cluster followed by a chain two. So yarn over. You work just like you're going to do your double crochet, but leave this last step on the hook. So there was one. I'm going to yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, draw through two. There's two. Yarn over, same space, and always just draw through two. What I remember about double crochet clusters is that at the end of your cluster, you will always have one more loop on your hook than the number of clusters. So we did a three double crochet cluster. You see one, two, three. You can see those stitches right here. And then you have one more. So I always know that I'm finished when I have four on the hook. Yarn over and draw through all four. And then chain two. And repeat for each chain space. So double, three double crochet cluster, chain two, three double crochet cluster, chain two. When you're done, you should have 12 and we're going to join right here in this very first cluster. You'll join with the slip stitch right there. I'm going to go ahead and complete my round and I'll see you in a minute. At the end of round two, it should look like this. Now, if you were changing colors, these little cluster stitches would be like your petals. And I really like both the solid and the, um, the different colors. So now for the next round, you're going to chain one. And in this first chain space, you're going to single crochet. Chain three. Single crochet in the next chain space. And now we're going to work a corner right here in the next chain space. Do three double crochet, just regular, not a cluster. And then we're going to chain three, and three more double crochet in the same space. And now single, chain three, single, always working our chain spaces, and now a corner. So three double crochet, Chain three, three double crochet. Okay, you see how this is working? We got our corners. We're turning our circle that we had into a square. So single. Chain three, single, and a corner. Three double crochet. Chain three, three double crochet. Okay, work across the side with our single, chain three, single, now work a corner of our last chain space right here, and we're going to join with a slip stitch. So we've gone all the way around together with our, turning our circle into a square. Now chain three. Three more double crochet. And then we're 
to join right here to that very first single crochet. Oh, mine slipped out here with a slip stitch. Okay, we've got one more round to go. Our last round is single crochet to give it a little more substance around the sides. So we're going to chain one. We're going to single in the very first single crochet that we had made right where we joined with our slip stitch. Now you have a chain three space. Work two single crochet in this chain space. And then you're gonna single in any single and double you see. So now we have three double crochets, you're gonna single in there. And when you get to a corner, what you're gonna do in a corner is you are going to work into this chain space a single crochet, a chain one, and another single crochet to turn the corner. So single in each double and a single. When you see this chain space, you're gonna work two singles here, and then single crochet, work your corner, which is a single crochet, chain one, single, all the way back around to where we began. And then I'll show you how to fasten off with an invisible join. I've worked all the way around now. This is my first single crochet. I finished with my last little double cluster here and I am ready to clip my yarn off. So just leave a little bit of a tail to weave in. And then pull this through. Now you can do an invisible join with your yarn needle or your hook. I'm lazy, I often use my hook. So I'm gonna show you how to do it that way. Look forward, here's the first single. And then the second, go ahead and put your hook into this second stitch away. Pull it all the way through. And now come up between the stitch that it came out of. Okay, it's the same stitch that you can see your yarn end hanging out of. And pull it through here. And you see how that makes a nice join. So there's no bump from where you fastened off. Obviously it will get loose until you weave this in. So like you'll see it, you know, kind of, if you leave it for a while, it's okay, but it'll kind of get loose. You just tighten it back down where it looks like a regular stitch and you weave in this end back here in your single crochet and you will never know that that is where you joined. So there is our square motif ready for bags, scarves, cardigans, anything really that you want to make with a motif or even a blanket out of these small squares. They're about three inches square.